Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am sharing a video with you guys all the reasons why we chose Muscovy ducks as the first ducks that we brought onto our homestead. So before we brought ducks on to the homestead we did all this research and we went through all these different breeds of ducks and we eventually settled on Muscovies for all these different reasons that I'm going to share with you today. But before we get into it, this video is in collaboration with Fable Hill Farm. She has a really cool YouTube channel. Actually, when we were researching Muscovy ducks, that is actually how we found her YouTube channel. She has so many awesome videos about Muscovy ducks. It's so interesting to watch. I've probably watched every single one of her Muscovy duck videos but she has all kinds of other homesteading videos and just really interesting to watch and I absolutely love her channel so much. So this is in collaboration with her. She is doing a video on five reasons why you shouldn't choose Muscovy ducks. So we're doing kind of opposite videos. So I will have her video and her channel link down in the description box below so make sure you go watch her video as well. And let's get right into this. So the first reason is that they are very hardy. So in Montana it's pretty cold and winter lasts pretty long. It's about six months of pretty cold and the ducks have done amazingly well. We got them in the fall and they've been with us throughout the in entire winter and they are so hardy. They just walk around in the snow. They hate being in their coop. The chickens hide in their coop when there's snow and the ducks are like, I don't care. I want to be outside. <laughs> there's been some nights where they absolutely refuse to go in because they just they just want to keep staying outside. They have so much fun. Even if it's like snowing and windy or sleeting, it doesn't matter what the weather, the ducks just like to be outside all the time. Another reason is that they're long lived. Muscovy ducks live a lot longer than most chickens or other breeds of ducks. They can actually live for 12 to 20 years. Now they won't keep producing eggs that entire amount, but they can live for up to 20 years, which is crazy. Their egg production is solid for a good amount of time. Nor normally their egg production lasts for eight to 10 years. Whereas our chickens, we end up having to butcher the hens at about four years because their egg production has slowed down enough that it's not worth keeping them. So these ducks will last eight to 10 years with good production. They lay a good volume of eggs, even though it's seasonal. So they'll only lay in the spring, summer, and into the fall a little bit, and they'll stop during the winter. So they only lay like half the year, but they lay 120 to 150 eggs in that span of time. So for them being seasonal layers, that's actually a really good amount of eggs. They have very little mess. So compared to other ducks, they're not as messy. We've had a bunch of different breeds growing up, and they were the messiest, hardest animals to keep around. They, especially in the winter, when you have to fill up new buckets of water for them every day, and they just splash everywhere and make it a ginormous mud, icy puddle, and it's just so messy. And not I have had a little bit of bad memories having ducks from when we were kids because of that. But so far, these ducks haven't made much of a mess at all. They will play in puddles, they like to splash their water, but they do, don't make nearly as much of a mess as other breeds of ducks, which I've been very happily surprised with. They require only minimal shelter, so this goes back to their cold hardiness. They don't need very much shelter at all, so Luke hasn't even insulated their coop yet. He built the same structure as the chicken coop, but the chicken coop he had to insulate and the duck coop he hasn't yet. So the top still has a gap around the edge and you can see through all the logs. It's like kind of a log cabin style coop but it's not insulated and they've done really, really well in there. Another reason is that they are very broody. So I really like having a few breeds of either ducks or chickens around that are really good broody mothers so that they can hatch all of our eggs for the year so that we don't have to use incubator. Normally we do use incubator, but for any ducks or chickens that we're keeping for ourselves for the next year, I like to have them hatched by the mothers because they teach them so many skills and they just seem like better birds all around if they've been raised by their own mothers. So Muscovy ducks are extremely broody. We are going to start letting our ducks hatch eggs any, any time now. We're waiting until this cold snap ends so that, the duck, so that the eggs don't freeze. You start letting them build up a clutch and then once they have enough eggs, they'll decide to go broody and sit on it. Another reason is that they have really, really good meat. We've butchered one of these so far. We just wanted to see what the meat tasted like and kind of how the butchering process and cooking process was before we decided to hatch a ton of them and then have to butcher a ton of them. So it was a little harder to butcher than a chicken just because it was a little bit older of a drake so it was getting a little bit tough. But if we had butchered it younger, I'm sure it would have, wouldn't have been bad at all. But the meat was really, really delicious. We cooked it in the crock pot. I cooked it a little longer than I would have cooked a chicken probably, but the meat has su had such good flavor. I just loved it so much. And in general, I like dark meat a lot better. The thighs and the drumsticks on chickens are normally the pieces that I'll pick, but the whole duck is dark meat, which I really like, because I, I don't know what it is about white meat that has not enough flavor for me, 
but I'm really glad that it has more dark meat than chickens. And not only does the meat taste good, but there is a ton of it on there. I mean, these ducks are massive. The drakes are as big as our male goose. And you guys, if you guys know how big geese are, that's how big the drakes are, so. That's a lot of meat. My next reason is that they're really good foragers on grass and different plants, and then also that they are really good for eating little pests. So insect, insects, grasshoppers. I've heard this before, and then now I've noticed since we've had them, they travel in a V. They'll kind of catch the grasshoppers in this V. So if the grasshoppers try to get away, the ones on the sides can catch them. So they're really good at foraging for pests and insects. They eat a lot of herbage especially mostly during the summer right now it's really cold so there's not as much right now but they eat a lot of just grass and stuff they find around so they don't need as much grain as other ducks they get along well with other animals so we've had chickens and our goose and a bunch of different and, and all the sheep we've had a bunch of different animals come through their yard and they have not been aggressive with any of them and that also goes along with that they are not aggressive to us at all so all of our little kids run around out there and even though those drakes are really really big and if they were geese, they would be chasing those kids all over the place, but they mind their own business, they just kind of keep them to themselves, and they're quiet, and they're not aggressive at all. So they're really good for having around a family, or if you have a little, a smaller property with a lot of animals, they would go along well with that. And then my last point is that they're very quiet. So most ducks have that loud, obnoxious quack. These ducks don't quack. They just have the drakes hiss and the hens just make this quiet little twittering noise. So I'll have to try to get this on video, but they don't quack, so they're not loud at all, which is something that I have actually, I didn't think I would really care that much, but their little noises are so cute. I actually really enjoy the noises they make. So that is another plus, especially if you live in town, your neighbors might get annoyed by all these ducks quacking. So these ones would be a really good option to have in town. So those are all the reasons why we chose Muscovy ducks and why I think that you should choose them too. We have absolutely loved having them so far. They're so fun to watch, especially once our pond fills up. It's going to fill up probably in the next month or so. And they are just so much, it's like my favorite thing to watch them out swimming on the pond. I'll have my coffee and my chair and I can just sit out there and watch them for hours. It's really entertaining. So they are, it's really hard for me to choose, but between them and the sheep, they're probably my second first or second favorite animal on the property so that's really saying something because i really love all of our animals so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that maybe gave you some more insight on whether or not you guys want to try muscovy ducks for yourselves make sure you go check out fable hill farms video on reasons why you shouldn't choose muscovy ducks and i will see you in my next video bye